Hello, Miss Steele here. So this week we are talking about colors, and for this project we're going to focus on the use of warm and cool colors, and we're going to make our own warm and cool cactuses. So what you need is a piece of paper, pencil and eraser, definitely some art tool basics, and then I'm using colored pencils, but you can use crowns, or colored pencils. I think colored pencils work a little bit better for this because there's kind of some teeny details and colored pencils definitely help with those. So what we're going to do first is we're going to fold our white piece of paper in half. So I'm bringing the corners together, holding it down with one hand, and then I'm using my other hand to press. So now I have one section that I'm going to use only warm colors and one section I'm going to use only cool colors. And our fold line is like an imaginary line right there to let us know that we have two different areas. So before I draw my cactuses, I'm going to add almost like an upside down U on each of my sides. And this is the hill that my cactus is going to be on. I also, I think I'm going to draw my cactuses first and then we'll draw our sun and moon behind. So cactuses come in all different shapes and sizes, but I think the easiest way is drawing kind of the classic shape of a cactus, which is one big sort of oval. If you want, you can go back and add arms onto your cactus. You can add one or two or really however many you want. I think I'm going to add two on this one. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing. You can make them look exactly the same, or you can make them look different if you want. I think I'm going to make this one look a little bit different. Maybe one arm right here. Maybe one arm right there. And then one more arm down here. So I can go back and erase those lines in between because I don't need them anymore. And now we're going to add in a sun on one side for our warm side, because whenever you think of warm colors, you can think of like a hot, sunny day. And on one side, we're going to add a moon for our cool side. So on our warm side, I'm going to add my sun right over here in the corner. And I'm going to do a big circle, and then I'm going to add in some little sun rays. On the other side, I'm going to draw a C, and then I'm going to draw a smaller C inside it to make my crescent moon. And so now my warm side has a sun, my cool side has a moon, and I'm going to show you how we can use different kinds of lines to really make these pop. So since this is my warm side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulling out some warm colors that I want to use. Reds, yellows, pinks, oranges, browns are all warm colors. They're colors that have a lot of yellow and red with them whenever you mix them, which in return makes them warm colors. So I'm just going through and pulling out some so I know which colors I want to use. And I'm going to show you a trick that you can do with colored pencils. So I think I'm going to outline this in brown. And I have a straight line, but I think I'm going to go back and I think I'm going to make it a wavy line on top using my brown. And then I can erase the pencil line behind, but the colored pencil will stay. So we learned about different kinds of lines the last time we were in art, and so that's what I'm using for this. And then I can go back and lightly erase that pencil line behind that I drew before. So now I just have the colored pencil, which looks nice. And then again, I want to add some lines, kind of some wavy lines going down to make my cactus look a little more realistic. And then I think at the end, I'm going to go back and add some spikes as well. But I'm just adding in some wavy lines. So 
So I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to pull out some cool colors for this side. So I'm going to pull out <coughs> some blues and greens, purples. Those are all on the cool color side. So I'm going to get some cool colors picked out and then we will move on to our next step. I have my collection of warm over here and cool over here. And since I did a wavy line for my warm, I think I'm going to go back and do a zigzag line for my cool. And I'm going to do the same thing. And then all I have to do is use my cool colors to decorate the background and the moon and my cactus and then I will do the same on my warm side. So you want to make for sure to use only warm colors on this side and only cool colors on this side because this is like a hot day in the desert and then it's like the cool night over here. And then I'm going to go in just like I did for the wavy line and I'm going to add some zigzags going down just to make my cactus look a little more real. Add some to the arms. Just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate the warm side and then check in and then we'll decorate the cool side. But how we color this in is kind of up to you. It's kind of your creative adventure to decorate the warm side using warm colors and the cool side using cool colors. So we're going to get going. I'm gonna start with my warm side. All right, so I have my warm side all colored in, but I do wanna add some spikes to my cactus. And I'm gonna show you two different ways you can do that. I'm going to show you one way here and then one way on the other. So first you want a darker color, but I'm still using a warm color. I'm sharpening it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some X's going down. And that's going to look like the cactus's spikes. So I'm just drawing some small X's right where I drew those lines. And that's going to act as my spikes for my cactus. So I'm going to keep going with this and then I'm going to get my cool side colored in next and I'll show you a different way you can add spikes. But for right now for my warm side I'm using X's and I'm drawing teeny tiny X's right on those wavy lines. So I'm going to finish this, get this colored in using all of my cool colors that I pulled out and then we will be finished. All right, so now we have our first cactus finish. Now for our second one, instead of adding little X's, I had a bunch of little, you can barely see it, I had a bunch of little straight lines. Right along where I drew my zigzag lines, I just add little tiny straight lines going in every direction. And that works as my other spikes for my cool cactus. So on one side I decorated my hot desert day and then on the other side I have my cool cactus desert night. So one side you're going to use all cool colors, one side you're going to use all warm colors and then you'll have a day and a night. That's why we draw our sun and our moon. All right I can't wait to see how yours comes out. This is mine, all finished. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, your evening, your afternoon, whatever you're watching this, bye.